Hi guys, have you ever brought your pet or pets to a veterinarian before? If yes, then most likely your veterinarian gave your pet a prescription. But have you ever wondered why your pet needs a veterinary prescription? How long does it last? And what is a repeat prescription? Guys, say less because we are here to help you to better understand a veterinary prescription. What is a prescription? It is written by a veterinary practitioner to authorize patient to get medicine or treatment. It is an instruction to a pharmacist to dispense a drug in a specified dose. Prescription may also contain instruction to the patient, for example, how drug is to be taken or how often and for how long. Prescription are important target area for improvement because lack of attention during prescription writing can lead to prescription error, which can adversely affect a well-being. Prescription error may occur due to inadequate knowledge of the patient and clinical status, inadequate drug knowledge, calculation errors, illegible handwriting, drug name confusion, and poor history taking. So today, we are going to discuss the necessary elements of veterinary prescription. First is the date, to know when was the medicine last dispensed and the expiration date. Second is the subprescription, contains the information of the prescriber like name, telephone number, and address. It also contains the name, address, gender, height and weight, breed, date of birth of the patient. The third one is the inscription. It is the main part of the prescription and it gives the information of the drug's name, generic or the trade name, formulation, and unit dosage. The fourth one is the subscription. It provides information to the pharmacist about the quantity and the dosage form of a drug. The fifth one is the transcription. It is the veterinarian's direction to the patient. It contains the instruction about the amount of the drug, also the time and frequency of the doses to be taken. And lastly is a signature. A prescription should be signed by a licensed veterinarian. So there are things to be considered like refill instruction and special instruction. It should be written if needed. So here's an example of a veterinary prescription. So here is the date. So this is an example of a subprescription. It contains information about the prescriber and the information of the patient. So here are examples of the inscription, subscription, and transcription. It gives the information about the drug's name, provide information to the pharmacist about the quantity and dosage form of a drug, and the direction of the veterinarian to the patient. So this is an example of a signature from a veterinarian. In a prescription, it is also written if it is refilled or not. Why do we need veterinary prescriptions? Prescriptions on drug are those drugs restricted by federal law to use by or under order of a licensed veterinarian. The law requires that the drug must be given by a licensed veterinarian. We need veterinary prescriptions to avoid the misuse of the drugs by the pet's owner. Because sometimes, there are many patients' owner who don't know how to read prescriptions and instructions. Not just sometimes, but most pet owners don't understand the medical language. So in order to properly make them understand, the prescriptions must be properly labeled before being dispensed and appropriate dispensing and treatment records. It must be maintained for further analysis. Veterinary prescriptions of the drugs should be dispensed only by quantities required for the treatment of the animals to avoid unlimited, dis unlimited refills of prescriptions or any other activity that might result in the misuse of the drugs. All veterinary prescriptions, drugs must be properly labeled when given. A complete label should include all the information set forth under the section on basic information for records, prescriptions, and labels. If that's not done, then how can we expect them to properly medicate their pets at home? 
if a client is going to take the medication of their animals at home, then proper labeling of that medication for the client. Included in the descriptions are prescriptions are, that are included are first is the name of the veterinary practice, its address, and contact information. The second is the veterinarian's name, the patient's name, and species, and the client's last name. The date of the prescription and the expiration date of the medication. The total amount or quantity of medication being dispensed if any refills are authorized. The name of the medication and its strength and directions on how to use the medication. All of those are needed to why we need veterinary prescriptions. Just like humans, pets sometimes need prescription medications. Many of the diagnoses that result in these prescriptions, such as heartworm disease and parvo, are pet specific. But pets can be diagnosed with conditions that humans experience too like anxiety, heart disease, arthritis, and cancer. In many cases, the medications used to treat these conditions in humans work for pets too, meaning every now and then, pets and their humans are prescribed the same medications at the same time for an identical similar condition. So how long does a prescription last? A standard veterinary prescription is valid up to six months from the date signed on the prescription. A vet may specify a short expiry date, however, this should be for clinical reason only. The only exception is for controlled drugs, and in these cases, a veterinary prescription is typically valid for 28 days from the date signed on the prescription. What is repeat prescription? So, repeat prescription is if your veterinarian prescribes your pet with a medication that would be taken on a regular basis. This can be done as a repeat prescription. This would mean that the doctor has given permission for your pet to be given this prescription in the future without first having to make an appointment with your veterinarian until a certain date. If your pet has a condition that requires long-term medication, such as osteoarthritis or an underactive thyroid, the vet will advise you that they can have a repeat prescription. Typically, this means that you will be dispensed a month's supply of medication. When this comes to an end, you will be able to collect another supply by, uh, by advising that you would like to, co to collect a repeat prescription. The governing body requires that it should review all patients on a long-term medications every six months. This enables us to check their dose is still correct and address any changes in the progress of their condition. When you consider that six months of our life is, is equivalent to 3.5 years of a dog's life, checkups are very necessary indeed. The frequency of checks depends on your vet's advice, but it is usually every six months. So, the charge for a prescription medication re-examinations depends on the clinic and can be combined free of charge with a booster vaccination. So, how many times can you get a repeat prescription? Repeat prescriptions allow the same prescription to be dispensed more than once. A repeat prescription must be dispensed for the first time within six months of the date on the prescription. After this, the repeat prescription can continue to be valid beyond six months, according to the direction on the prescriptions. And please take note that they, they can only issue prescriptions to animals under the veterinarian's care. And a repeat prescription can only be issued for medications your pet has previously been prescribed.